Fifth round highlights from the final stage of Web.com Tour Q School. Only 18 holes remain until players know exactly where they stand for the 2015 Web.com Tour season. Remember, first place earns full Web.com Tour status. We'll start it off with Ted Purdy on the first. That for an eagle on the par five. No better way to start off your round. He would finish off with an even par round five in his 13 under overall. Take it over to Dustin Bray on the first as well. This is his third shot from the greenside bunker. A beautiful wedge there, leaving himself three feet here for birdie to move it to 11 under par. He remained bogey free until the 17th hole, dropped one shot to finish four under on his day at 14 under overall. Over now to Matt Fast, the Mississippi State University alum of one top 10 last year on the web.com tour. Trying to get back there once again, coming off an even par fourth round, got more birdies to drop as he almost chips in for eagle there, taps in for the birdie. He's in a tie for third at 15 under par. Tied with this man, Rain Gibson, who had the low round of the day, looking to play his first full season on the web.com tour. He carded a seven under 65 on Monday after back-to-back -back 67s, and he's in a tie for third. Seven off the lead, though. At 15 under, these guys are going low in the final stage of web.com tour Q school. Andrew Landry, University of Arkansas All-American. He's been battling since he graduated school to get up and back onto the web.com tour. That was his third shot, also from the first hole. This for Birdie to move it to 13 under par. He would go on to Eagle the 12th and card his third 67 of the week. So Landry is at 17 under par and solo second, but still five off the pace. Set by Canadian Brad Fritch. He held the lead after 54 holes, 72 holes, and now heading in to the final 18. Brad Fritch is still the man to beat. This was his third shot on the par five, fourth, sitting at 19 under this point, looking for his first birdie of the day after dropping a shot on the second hole. And from about 15 feet out, Fritch gets it to go. He would birdie 15 as well and make the turn at two under par. So we will stay with Fritch here and pick him up on the 10th hole where he is at 23 under par. And for the first time in what seems like all week, he just could not get things to click, carting eight pars and one bogey. He would go on to make this for par to remain at 23 under par. Dropping back, though, at the end of his round of 22 under. With 18 to play, Brad Fritsch still holds the lead by five shots.